Hello, my dear students. Yesterday we discussed about algebraic identities. We have discussed four algebraic identities. What is algebraic identity? Algebraic identity is an equation which is true for all the values of the variables occurring in it. Okay. And we discussed four identities. That was identity, identity number one was x plus y whole square equal to x square plus twice x y plus y square. Identity number two was x minus y whole square. That is x square minus 2xy plus y square. Identity number 4. Identity number 3. It was x square minus y square equal to x plus y into x minus y. Then identity, identity number 4. It is x plus a into x plus b where a and b are any real numbers then it gives me x square plus a plus b into x plus a into b so these four identities we have started, uh, previous class discussed and we have seen some example thus now let us take next identity identity number 5 identity number 5 it is x plus y plus z whole square. Now there are three terms, okay, and you have to x find this x plus y plus z whole square. That is x square plus y square plus z square plus twice x y plus twice y z plus twice z x. So this is your identity number five. Then identity identity number 6 that is x plus y whole cube equal to x cube plus y cube plus 3 x y in bracket x plus y you can expand this that is x cube plus y cube plus 3 x square y 3 x y into x plus 3 x y into y 3 x y square that is x cube plus 3x square y plus 3xy square plus y cube. Now remember either this or this. x plus y whole cube is x cube plus y cube plus 3x1 in bracket x plus y or x cube plus 3 times x square y plus 3 times x y square plus y cube. Similarly, identity number 7, identity number 7 is x minus y whole cube x minus y whole cube ok so that is x cube minus y cube minus 3 x y in bracket x minus y this is identity number 7 and x one is x cube minus y cube minus 3 x y into x minus 3 x square y minus 3 x y into minus y will be plus 3 x y square that is x cube minus 3 x square y plus 3 x y square and then minus y cube sign is other than plus minus plus minus same is ok so either you will remove this formula or this one take one of this so x minus y will be equal to x2 minus y2 minus 3x y in bracket x minus y or x2 minus 3x square y plus 3x y square minus y2. So this is identity number 7. And last is identity number 8. Identity number 8. This is x plus y now x cube plus y cube plus z cube. x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz minus 3xyz it gives me x plus y plus z x plus y plus z uh, so I am right uh, 
x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus three x y z equal to x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus three x plus y plus z x plus y plus z. You take the sum of the three terms into first bracket and then x square into this is x square plus y square plus z square minus two x y minus two y z minus two z x. So this is your identity number eight. Okay. No. Sorry. So it is not a, so it is simply x y x y minus y z minus z x. So you remember this all identities. Okay. Now let us see some examples. Examples. For example, x and x one each of the following. Examples. X one each of the following. Each of the following. Number one. Number one is. Number one, x plus two y plus four j. X plus two y plus four j whole square. X plus two y plus four j whole square. So our identity is x plus y. X plus y plus j whole square. That is x square plus y square plus j square plus twice x y. Twice y j plus twice j x. This is our identity. Okay. So using this identity, using this identity, let us solve this solution. 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 X plus two y plus four j whole square. Here, the first term is x, second term is 2y, and third term is 4j. So you take sum of the squares of three terms first of all. X square, first term square, second term is 2y whole square, plus third term 4j whole square. As x plus y plus j whole square gives me first term square plus second term square plus third term square. You have got First term is x, second term is 2y, third term is 4j. So like that. Then plus 2 times first term into second term. Plus 2 times first term, this is x, into 2y. Plus 2 times second term into third term, 2 times. 2 times second term into y, into 4j, 2y into 4j. Plus, plus 2 times. Third term into first term, 4j into x. So that is x square plus 2y whole square, 2 square is 4, y square is y square, 4y square plus that is 16j square plus 2 into 4xy. This is 2 into 4x into y. So again, uh, 2 into 2, 4, 4 into this 4, 16. 16yj, 16yj plus 2 into 4 a, j into xj, a xj. Okay, so in this way we can expand. Take another example. Second one. 2x minus y plus j. 2x minus y plus j equals k. Expand this. And when you expand the first term square, that is 2x4 square. I can write this in this way also. Uh, 2x, this is first term, okay. Plus this is minus by second term, your plus j is third term. This is whole square. In this way also we can write this first term, second term is minus y, third term is j. So I use the identity x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2jx. So 
So that is equal to first term square 2x whole square plus the second term square minus 5 square plus this is third term square z square plus 2 times 2 times first term into this second term plus 2 times second term into this third term z dz ok plus 2 times third term into first term in this way so this will be 4x square 4x square minus square that is plus and it is y square this is plus and z square then 2 into 2 2 into 2 4 x into y and plus into minus that is minus 2 into 2 4 4 x y 4 x then plus into minus it will be minus minus it will be this plus it will be minus 2 into y z 2 y z then this is 2 into 2 4 x z 4 x z ok students so we can simplify and expand in this way ok take one more example 1 by 4 a 1 by 4 1 by 4 a minus 1 by 2 b 1 by 2 b plus 1 whole square ok so this can also be given as 1 by 4 into a I can write this a by 4 ok this is your first term plus second term is 1 by 2 b by 2 so minus this minus b by 2 minus b by 2 and then plus third term is 1 whole square whole square so your first term second term and this is third term now I expand this so first term square that is a by 4 whole square plus minus b by 2 whole square plus 1 square first term square plus second term square plus third term square plus 2 times first term to second term plus 2 times first term a by 4 into second term minus b by 2 plus 2 times second term minus b by 2 into third term is 1 plus 2 times third term into first term now implement a square is a square whole square is 16 plus minus square or it is a power of negative is one number so it will be plus b square by 2 square is 4 plus 1 then this plus into minus it will be minus this is divided by this word 2 a b and this I can cancel this to 2 so it will be a b upon 4 a b upon 4 minus then plus 2 into this minus it will be minus 2 to cancel minus b c t minus b and this is uh, 2 other so 2 to the 4 is a by 4 plus a by 2 so this is the answer now ok in this way we can expand this algebraic expression and last one factorize take last one factorize 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 4 x square plus 9 y square 4 x square plus 9 y square plus 16 z square 16 z square plus 12 x y plus 12 x y minus 24 y z minus 24 y z and uh, minus 16 x z Okay, you have to simplify this. You have to factorize this. See here, first of all, I am writing in the perfect square. This is in the 4 x square. This is the square of 2 x square. 3 x square to whole square. 9, it is the square of 3. So I am writing 3 y whole square. 3 y whole square gives me 9 y square. So 16 z square is 4 z whole square. 4 
associated with four square is sixteen, three x square, three x square plus. Now I am writing this x into y. So this term is positive, no problem. So uh, I want two times first term to second term. So may I write this two into first term two x into second term three y. Two into first term to second term. It gives me three x y. See two into two four, four into three. Three x one, right? Now here the problem is minus. It is minus. Third term is also minus. See here if I put x plus y plus z, so in the expansion of this square, I am getting, I am getting x square plus y square plus z square plus two x one plus two y z plus two z. If I take x plus y minus z, okay. So x square plus y square plus z square third term square plus it will be plus plus two x y first term to second term plus two x y then second term to third it will be there you minus two y z and third term to first it will also minus two z x. So here both are negative. It is possible if and only the third term is negative. So it means. My third term must be negative. It must be minus minus 4z square. Also gives me plus 16z square. Okay. So now plus two times second term into third term. Second term is 3y into uh, minus 4z minus 4z. See whether I am getting this minus 24y z. 2 into 3 6 6 into 4 24 and it is negative. So I yes I am getting this and plus 2 into third term that is minus 4 z into first term that is 2 x. See whether I am getting this minus 16 x z or not. 2 into minus 4 minus 8 minus 8 into 2 minus 16 x z yes. So therefore if I compare this with the expansion of X square plus y square plus z square plus 2x square minus 2yz minus 2z is so it is the expansion of x plus y minus z whole square. So therefore, this is also the expansion of 2x plus 3y and that is minus 4z whole square. Therefore, the factors are 2x plus 3y minus 4z is a square. And again, two x plus three y minus four z. So, the expansion of this is this is the expansion of this bracket, whole square. Okay. So, you have to compare the given algebraic expression with your identity. Then you write out this. Okay. Thank you. All the best.